Hi, I'm Chris. Um, do you recycle? If so, that's great. And today we're going to look at how to use simple materials properties to separate your recycling. So in many household recycling boxes, such as this, you'll find you can recycle and store an awful lot of um, different kinds of materials. So in this one, we've got glass, plastic, and um, metal food and drink cans. So as you can see, examples of plastic, uh, milk bottles, and pill bottles. And then we've got um, glass bottles and jars, metal tins, and drinks cans. So if you were to separate all these out into different kind of materials, it'd be very easily just to separate them by hand. So I go, here's some plastic, metal here, glass over here. Um, but it's fine on a small scale such as this. But when you get to household recycling centres, there's tons and tons of recycling. So there's got to be an easy way of separating them. So let's go back in and have a think about how we might do this. So we're back inside now. So here's our three different kind of materials. We're going to look at their properties, then mix them all up and see how we can use their properties to separate them. So we've got plastic, plastic bottle tops, we've got some metal bottle tops and we've got glass marbles. So we use glass marbles rather than bits of broken glass so you don't cut your fingers. One property of the materials that we can um, look at is using one of these, a magnet. You may not have a horseshoe magnet like this at home but you can use a fridge magnet or um, another kind of magnet that you may have lying around the house. So, first of all, we'll try the glass. See, clearly the glass doesn't, doesn't stick to the magnets. The bottle caps do. This is because um, they contain um, steel or um, and some other magnetic material. Not all metals are magnetic, but in this case, um, fortuitously, um, they are. And the plastic, it, they do, it's not magnetic. So a property we can use um, is density. Density tells you how heavy um, a substance or object is for a given size. So what we can do is um, drop the objects in water and if the object is denser than water it will sink and if it's less dense than water it will float. Um, I have got another video that I've made looks in a bit more at density, so please feel free to have a look at that. So what I'm going to do is um, drop the metal bottle cap into the water. You can see that sinks. So that is, le that is more dense than the water. I'm going to drop the glass marble in. As you may well have thought, it's does sink so that's denser and then the plastic um, bottle cap that floats so that's less dense than the water. So now we've had a look at two materials properties that we can use to separate these three materials. Um, let's put that into practice by first of all mixing them all together. Um, and now it doesn't really matter which way you go so I'm going to start by um, just using the magnet first I'll get one of the bowls put some magnetic materials in In there so there should be 10 of each kind of material so that's 10 bottle tops now we can use um, the density to separate them so you get the jug of water pour them in and then get a sieve and then you can just simply fish out the plastic
and then use the sieve to then filter the, the water out and to get your glass marbles out. So you can see um, it's very quick and easy and we just used two fairly simple common materials properties to separate them. So we can see how we can separate uh, the three different kinds of materials, but how fast can we do it?